In the summer of 1979, a sensational claim rocked the scientific and tabloid communities alike as the British tabloid Reveal boldly featured an article on its front pages detailing the astonishing assertions of Soviet astrophysicist Professor Sergei Boshich. According to Boshich, he had unearthed evidence suggesting the presence of the remains of a spacecraft from another planet in orbit around Earth, potentially harboring extraterrestrial life forms. The implications were profound, sparking intrigue and skepticism in equal measure. Boshik's narrative unfolded with a blend of scientific scrutiny and speculative fervor. He purported that scientists first observed debris drifting in Earth's orbit during the 1960s, identifying ten substantial fragments, two of which exceed 30 meters in length. Through meticulous orbital tracking and computer analysis, they deduced a startling revelation. All pieces originated from a singular event on December event on December 18, 1955, hinting at a cataclysmic explosion of extraterrestrial origin. Russian science fiction luminary Alexander Kazantsev, renowned for his forays into ufology and astrophysical inquiry, lent his voice to Boshik's claims. Drawing upon their study of the largest debris remnants, Kazantsev speculated on the dimensions and configuration of the enigmatic craft, postulating a vessel spanning at least 200 feet in length and 100 feet in length, possibly possessing multiple levels. The tantalizing prospect of extraterrestrial occupants lingered in their conjectures, shrouded in mystery and fascination. Amid conjecture and skepticism, Dr. Vladimir Azhaza, a prominent Moscow physicist emphatically dismissed meteoric origins for the debris. Contrary to the aimless trajectories of meteorites, Azhaza argued, the debris exhibited orbital consistency and an anomalous explosive event, indicative of an alien spacecraft's demise. The debate raged on, with proponents and detractors alike scrutinizing every facet of the purported discovery. As the specter of a potential extraterrestrial encounter loomed, whispers of a covert rescue mission to salvage the fragmented craft emerged. A clandestine joint venture, shrouded in secrecy, purportedly sought to reconstruct the alien vessel on Earth, an audacious endeavor steeped in intrigue and speculation. Scholars sought to contextualize the purported discovery within the annals of astronomical history. References surfaced to American scientist John Bagby's 1969 article in Icarus magazine, alleging the formation of ten small moons on December 18, 1955, following a celestial cataclysm. Yet, Bagby's assertions faced scrutiny and skepticism from luminaries like Belgian astronomer Jean Mieux, casting doubt on the veracity of his claims. Despite fervent speculation and academic inquiry, the enigma of the purported extraterrestrial spacecraft persisted, tantalizing imaginations and confounding skeptics. Some whispered of connections to the infamous Black Knight satellite, while others dismissed the saga as fanciful lore. Ultimately, the mystery of the celestial enigma endured, a testament to humanity's enduring fascination with the cosmos and the enduring allure of the unknown.